The 38th edition of the IEEE International Conference on Robotics and Automation was held in person for the first time in the last three years. This conference has been considered to be one of the largest conferences to be held related to the robotics and automation industry. However, there were a lot of people who claimed to have missed the chance of being there in person. Can they rewatch the conference somewhere? Was the conference recorded? Will a conference be held again anytime this year? Well, we're here to get all of your problems solved. We on this channel have brought you the highlights of the entire conference. So sit back and continue watching the video till the end to know more. This year, over 8,000 participants from the field of academic and industry altogether had joined the conference from around 97 countries, thereby making the conference an exciting and successful one. This conference had allured a stunning 4,703 in-person attendees, out of which more than half of them were just students. Seems like the future is in great hands. Since it is the largest robotics conference in the world, till date the conference has had 96 exhibitors, 56 workshops, and more than 6 forums deployed that claim to have explored millions of ways in which robotics and automation can change the future of working in this field. The International Conference on Robotics and Automation has been reported to exhibit in numerous cutting-edge research papers, featuring around 1,498 published papers, 3 plenary lectures, and 9 keynote presentations. Out of these papers, there were 13 awkward-winning papers written on automation, coordination, dynamics and control, interaction, learning, locomotion, navigation, and planning. This year, after not being able to hold conferences in person for more than two years, the ICRA was back with a banger, with a much bigger, brighter and better conference. This conference was held in Pennsylvania. The conference was not only about seeing and visualizing the most advanced robots till date, but also about listening to presentations by robotic companies and scientists along with the latest research and innovations in the field of robotics. Robots that could not only walk, but drive, fly and swim were visible and reported to be a part of the conference. The conference this year was considered to be a real parade of robots, ranging from robots inspired by insects to helping the robots in navigation and interactions. These innovative ideas were contributed to the conference by the University of California, San Diego, who has been considered to be making a significant amount of contributions to this field at the 2022 ICRA. The conference took place from the 23rd of May to the 27th of May 2022. The conference's main goal is to bring together a group of world topmost researchers and most important companies to share their ideas and technological advancements in this field. The theme of this year's conference was the future of work. The chair of forum this year was the one and only Henrik Christen, the director of the UC San Diego Contextual Robotics Institute. He had organized six different forums this year, which included the future of work, industry, venture capital, national programs, national research strategies, and an entrepreneurship event. ICRA is the premier robotics conference, and after two years of being virtual, the objective is to be back to in-person presentations and networking. It is encouraging to see such a diverse set of strong contributions from UCSD, from new mechanisms over medical systems to next-generation transportation, says Henrik Christensen. The chair of workshop of this year's conference was Mr. Nikolai Atanasov, a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and has been reported to be seeing 51 events this year. It has been reported that he will be giving a talk titled Signed Directional Distance Functions at the Robotic Perception and Mapping Workshop on May 23, 2022. The professor from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Mr. Laurel Riek, is reported to be speaking at the workshop on shared autonomy in physical human-robot interaction, adaptability and trust. The working title of her talk is Proximate Human-Robot Teaming fluent and trustworthy interaction. One of the organizers of the debates on the future of the robotics workshop this year was none other than Sylvia Herbert. This workshop was assumed to tackle the topics of state of robotics as an academic discipline, its relationship with other fields in computer science and engineering, and its broader social and economic impacts. The conference was sponsored by the Advanced Research Society for Science and Sociology, which is most commonly known as the ARSSS. ICRA is a multi-track, four-week robotics festivity that draws in thousands. It can pass by you in a blink. 
Here is a list of a few of the abstracts for the UC San Diego papers that were accepted this year in the conference. P2 Slam – Bearing-Based Wi-Fi Slam for Indoor Robots This paper was made by Aditya Arun, Roshan Ayala Somaya Jula, William Hunter and Dinesh Bharadia from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, UC San Diego. These students had observed that there was a recent spare in the interest in indoor robotics, which had increased the importance of robust simultaneous localization and mapping algorithms in indoor scenarios. This observed robustness has been provided by the use of innumerable sensors that happen to correct each other's deficiencies. In this vein, exteroceptive sensors like cameras and LiDAR employed for fusion are capable of correcting the drifts accumulated by Vili odometry or inertial measurement units. Number 2. Trident Net V2 – Lightweight Graphical Global Plan Representations for Dynamic Trajectory Generation They have claimed that the framework for dynamic trajectory generation for autonomous navigation doesn't rely on HD maps as its underlying representation as presented. High-definition maps have been reported to become a key component in most of the autonomous driving frameworks, which may include complete road and network information and traffic signals. However, the presented model approaches the distributions of a feasible egocentric trajectories in real time given a nominal graph-based global plan and a lightweight scene representation. Thus, by embedding more and more contextual information such as crosswalks and road signs and traffic signals, this newer approach has been believed to achieve low errors across multiple urban navigation datasets that include diverse intersection maneuvers, while maintaining real-time performance and reducing network complexity. Underlying datasets introduced are available online. This challenge was reported to be organized by the HILTI Corporation in Liechtenstein, Oxford Robotics Institute in Oxford University, and Robotics and Perception Group in ETH Zurich. The challenge was a competition to find out the accurate mapping by developing simultaneous localization and mapping algorithms that can robustly operate even in construction environments and degeneracy environments such as narrow indoor environments that lack features. As winners, the participants were reported to receive $3,000 as a cash prize. As the practical and socio-economic impact of our field continues to expand, robotics and automation are increasingly taking the center stage in our lives and will play an important role in the future of work and society, an important focus of this conference. Do you think we missed out on some important highlights? Is there a workshop or an event that we might have not ticked on our list? Do you think the awarded winners of the conference were justified? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya.